What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Channel. Um, if you're new, you need to subscribe. If you've been here, you know the deal. Let's get started. First thing first, Beyonce is being accused of being a theft. All right. That is the word of the day. Beyonce is a theft and she robs artists for their artistry. Okay. Now, as of recently, an artist has came forward. All right. Because they have been a creator of this type of like, you know, metropolis type of a character or this like futuristic robot type of design. And they're saying Beyonce stole their concept. Okay. As you all may or may not know, Beyonce opens up her Renaissance World Tour in this like robotic outfit, you know, type metropolis type of vibe. Okay. Now, in my opinion, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Okay. Does Beyonce have moments in her career where she has given the girls, I'm gonna steal your shit? Of course. But in this case scenario right now, no. All right. Um, I'm going to debunk it now. Beyonce has been having this type of robotic type of thing in her concepts and performances since 2006. OK, so um, she's being dragged online, but it's not it's not really like valid right now. OK, it's not valid. And that's just my opinion on that. I feel like the artist looks kind of dumb and delusional. Um, you're going around posting things that you didn't even make. You didn't make Metropolis. You didn't make, you know what I'm saying? You didn't make that, okay? I can see if, like, you know what I'm saying? But you didn't. And Beyonce been doing this for a long time ago, right? So, yeah, that's my opinion on that. I feel like everybody wants some damn money. That's the real gag. Everybody wants their coins. And I get it. I respect it. But you don't got to be, be corny about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let's move on to this next album. All right, y'all, moving on. Sweetie is finally talking about her next album. So Sweetie has been like, you know what? Hey, I want to drop an album too. I want to sell 1,000 units too. Um, now, Sweetie says this though, okay? Because, you know, fans have been harassing her about that album that ain't coming, okay? Just, <laughs> um, there's a misconception about how quickly an album can be done. It's taken me a long, long time, but it's not as easy as some people make it seem. I don't want it to be an album just full of hits. Yes, I want it to have hits, but I want to have songs to correlate with one another, okay? And Sweetie, you've had over seven years to do that. Okay, you have seven years. Um, well, going on seven years. All right. What are you waiting for? Okay, you, you you came out in 2018. You ain't had no album out since. That's just weird. I'm sorry. Um, of course, it's not easy for you because you're not talented. Of course, of course, it's harder for you. Of course. It's, of course. Okay. But my thing is this, though, with Sweetie. She could just give it up. Okay. Um, the thing about it is, Sweetie is just a singles artist. Okay. Nobody's going to look at Sweetie and say, damn, I can't wait to hear her album. I can't wait to hear what she got to say on her album. Nobody gives a fuck about what Sweetie has to say on her album because she's a singles artist. Like, girl, she makes cute little music for the club, cute little bops, okay? So she crying about her album. It's taking too long, da-da-da. What, what's, take, what's taking too long? I don't get, like, what? Uh, I mean, is, is your producer in, in the studio crying and bleeding his ears out every time you come in so that takes up time because you sound like shit? Is that, is that what's going on? I don't know. But, sweetie, you need to just hold off and come. But don't even come back. You, just, Sweetie, just model. Be a bad bitch like the bad bitch you are. Stop trying. Everybody want to be Everybody want to be something that they're not these days. Why is that? Like, why can't everybody just be themselves? You are a model and act like it. Moving on, y'all. Beep, beep. All right. Featuring 50 Cent is out now. And currently, it is number two on iTunes. So, go ahead and run it up. Run it up. Run it up. All right. Um, I like it. It's cute. It's real cute. I'm not a big fan of 50 Cent himself, but I do love the song Beep Beep. So I'm always be streaming. I'm always be streaming. Um, now, moving on, okay. Um, Nikki's tour, pre-sale is out. And the person you are listening to right now may or may not have gotten front row seats. Okay. So um, I'm excited. Now, moving on, though, I want to talk about this. All right. I want to talk about this whole Just Hilarious situation. Um, apparently Just Hilarious had some things to say about Nicki in regards to the, um, female rappers that she collaborated with. Um, she said that Nicki does not collaborate with any talented female rappers at all. So she's helping herself get replaced. All right. Um, Just says, but you're purposely doing features with these girls that can't rap. You never put somebody that can actually rap on your S-H-I-T. So you're in fact helping the labels replace you. All right. Um, now she said this because Nicki said that the industry is watered down because record labels started signing women who can't rap to replace Nicki. And Nicki was basically just saying, like, rap should sound like rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. That's, it. that's all. That's all. Like, it shouldn't sound like anything else. Um, now, me personally, I'm going to have to disagree with Jess Hilarious. Okay? Jess, you be funny sometimes. Cool. All right. I get it. But what are you talking about, mama? Okay? What are you talking about? Um, 
what, her statement didn't make any sense. So you telling me out of all the female rappers Nicki has worked with, out of all of them, they're untalented? So you, you telling me Megan Thee Stallion's untalented? You telling me Doja Cat's untalented? Like, are you going to tell me that B is untalented? Like, let's be so real now. That's not like, she, her, like, no. And that's the thing about it. We can't always take advice from everybody, okay? Everybody ain't in the music industry. Jess don't know shit. And the thing about it is, Jess, Nicki can't be, re can't be replaced at all. Nicki would never be replaced. So... It doesn't matter how you try to put it and say, oh, well, they untalented, da da da, da. Nicki will never be replaced at all. It doesn't matter if they're more talented or less talented. Like, it's just sometimes in life when you are destined for greatness and destined for success and destined to be in certain positions in life, it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. You're going to always be on your status. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So I think just has to take her L with this conversation right now. She lost. She lost. It's okay. She needs to just go home, sit it out, and um, do something else. I don't know. She's annoying. I don't know. Moving on, y'all. Congratulations are in order for Taylor Swift. All right. Taylor Swift has earned over $1 billion, making herself the Guinness World Record holder for the most money earned on a single tour. A billion dollars on tour. All right. Now, this is great. But if you ask me, I think Taylor Swift is being exploited. Okay, she's being exploited. All right. Um, if there if you if there is enough money for you to make a billion dollars on tour, um, there's no way you are well rested. There's no way your mental health is okay, and there's no way that your label is not exploiting you. Okay, I think she's being exploited. All right. Um, because they see her as a a cash thing. They can just keep milking her. They can keep milking her for money. You know, every time she comes around, she's dropping a new song. She's dropping all these versions of these singles. She's doing all these extend like all these like gimmicks. Okay. Now I love my girl Taylor. Don't get me wrong. This is please trust me. I stream. I listen. I love me some Taylor. But her label gotta let her get some rest. Okay. Um, they got her ass up here touring until the end of next year. All right. Mind you, the tour started earlier this year. All right now i get it artists do tour a lot but i don't know it just seems like it's a lot going on over there moving on y'all bad gallery um she has gotten herself to be the most searched fashion icon on google okay so she's making history with that um rihanna's always doing it big i'm not surprised at all rihanna's just a successful person she always has that you know that you know that push okay um now according to google Rihanna is named as the most searched fashion icon in Google's 25-year um, history, okay? So, that's beautiful. That's great. Um, nobody is touching her in terms of that, all right? Um, Rihanna will always be famous. She will always be known, all right? And I know J-Lo is mad. Oh, yeah, J-Lo is mad. Because in case you are, in case you are not know, right? Y'all know that green dress she be wearing and stuff like that? Yeah. Um, J-Lo is the reason why Google Images is created, Okay. Um, so the, for a fact that you're not even the top fashion icon and you the reason why Google Images is even made and Rihanna took your spot, damn, I know you in the corner crying. Is Doja Cat a rapper or a pop star? Okay, because she has just recently been ranked as the ninth best pop star, okay, um, for 2023, um, according to Billboard. Um, a consistent, challenging, and successful pop star who rarely makes it easy for her fans but continues to build one of the most vital and rewarding careers in 2020s pop all right um now didn't she just make a rap album so i don't know how she's a rap like how, how is she a pop star and she just made an entire rap album in 2023 um i don't know what that's about okay so um i guess now i think it's funny how they say it really makes it easy for her fans because that's really that's really really true okay that's really really true um she don't make it easy for her fans at all but people have been saying that Doja Cat is not a rapper for years, like way before even this era, like back when she was going viral for Say So, the girls was giving them like, oh, she a pop star. Oh, yeah, she, she, <laughs> they were saying she wanted the Katy Perry's, one of the Gaga's, you know, one of them pop stars. And um, I can see it. But then again, I also think like Doja Cat is more so a really versatile artist. So she can give you pop, she can give you rap, she can give you rock, and she can still give you different type of things and still give you a nice little song. Um, but pop star? No, I don't think she's a pop star. Well, I'll say this. Certain eras give the girls pop and certain eras give the girls rap, like Nicki. But I don't know. It's just a difference with Doja Cat. Doja Cat kind of leans more towards pop, though. So I, I see both sides. I'm just sitting right here now analyzing, like, what is she? I see both sides. So um, it is what it is. Whatever it is, she getting her money. She on tour. So I guess she's doing something right. But yes, y'all, I will see you on the next one. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the bell. Like, if you tap the bell, it gives you an alert every time I post. So yeah, all right. I'll see y'all next one. Be safe.